Welcome to the presentation on search algorithms in artificial intelligence. There are two types of search algorithms. One is, uninformed search or blind search. Second, informed search or heuristic search. Informed search algorithms use domain knowledge. In an informed search, problem information is available which can guide the search. Heuristic means additional information. Consider a case of searching for a house. The address is the source and we use that in uninformed search. But we got a clue like it is a pink colored double story building, the search makes easy. That clue is heuristic information. A heuristic is a way that might not always be guaranteed for the best solutions but guaranteed to find a good solution in a reasonable time. An example of informed search algorithms is a traveling salesman problem. Greedy search. A search dot etc. A heuristic is a function that is used in informed search, and it finds the most promising path. It takes the current state of the agent as its input and produces the estimation of how close the agent is from the goal. The heuristic method, however, might not always give the best solution, but it guaranteed to find a good solution in a reasonable time. Heuristic function estimates how close a state is to the goal. It is represented by H of N and it calculates the cost of an optimal path between the pair of states. The value of the heuristic function is always positive. Admissibility of the heuristic function is given as hn less than equals h star of n. Here h of n is heuristic cost, and h star of n is the estimated cost. Hence heuristic cost should be less than or equal to the estimated cost. A best first search is a general approach of informed search. It is the combination of depth first search and breadth first search algorithms. It uses the heuristic function and search. Best first search allows us to take the advantages of both algorithms. With the help of the best first search, at each step, we can choose the most promising node. Here. A node is selected for expansion based on an evaluation function f of n, where f of n interprets the cost estimate value. A component of f of n is h of n, which carries the additional information required for the search algorithm, that is, h of n, estimated cost of the cheapest path from the current node n to the goal node. Best first search is known as a greedy search because it always tries to explore the node which is nearest to the goal node and selects that path, which gives a quick solution. The greedy best first algorithm is implemented by the priority queue. Best first search algorithm. Step 1. Place the starting node into the open list. Step 2. If the open list is empty, stop and return failure. Step 3. Remove the node then from the open list which has the lowest value of hn, and places it in the closed list. Step 4, expand the node n, and generate the successors of node n. Step 5, check each successor of node n, and find whether any node is a goal node or not. If any successor node is the goal node, then return success and terminate the search, else proceed to step 6. Step 6, for each successor node, Algorithm checks for evaluation function fn, and then check if the node has been in either open or closed list. If the node has not been in both lists, then add it to the open list. Step 7. Return to step 2. Consider the below search problem, and we will traverse it using a greedy best first search. At each iteration, each node is expanded using evaluation function fn equals hn, which is given in the table. In this search example, we are using two lists which are open and closed lists. The following are the iteration for traversing the example. At the start, expand the nodes of S and put in the closed list. We initialization the open list as A, B, and closed list as S. During the first iteration list, open contains A, and list closed contains S, B. Since node B has the lowest value, we expand it. So the second iteration, list open contains, E, F, A, and we place P in closed. Since node F has the lowest value we expand F, therefore, the open is, I, G, E, A, closed is, S, B, F. Repeat this until we reach goal node G. Hence the final solution path will be S, 
B, F, G. Advantages are the best first search can switch between BFS and DFS by gaining the advantages of both the algorithms. This algorithm is more efficient than BFS and DFS algorithms. Along with the advantages, there are some disadvantages also. There it can behave as an unguided depth first search in the worst case scenario. It can get stuck in a loop as DFS. This algorithm is not optimal. The worst case time complexity of greedy best first search is big O of B raised M. The worst case space complexity of greedy best first search is big O of B raised M. Where M is the maximum depth of the search space. Greedy best first search is also incomplete, even if the given state space is finite. The greedy best first search algorithm is not optimal. A star search is the most commonly known form of best first search. It has combined features of UCS and greedy best first search, by which it solved the problem efficiently. A star search algorithm finds the shortest path through the search space using the heuristic function. This search algorithm expands less search tree and provides optimal result faster. In a star search, a node n is evaluated by combining values of the functions gn and hn. The function gn is the path cost from the start or initial node to a node n and hn is the estimated cost of the cheapest path from node n to the goal node. Therefore, we have fn equals gn plus hn where fn is the estimated cost of the cheapest solution through n. In the A star search algorithm, we use search heuristic as well as the cost to reach the node. Hence we can combine both costs, and this sum is called as a fitness number. Algorithm of A star search, step 1, place the starting node in the open list. Step 2, check if the open list is empty or not. If the list is empty then return failure and stops. Step 3, select the node from the open list which has the smallest value of evaluation function g plus h, if node n is goal node then return success and stop, otherwise. Step 4, expand node n and generate all of its successors, and put n into the closed list. For each successor n, check whether n is already in the open or closed list, if not then compute evaluation function for an n place into open list. Step 5, else if node n is already in open and closed, then it should be attached to the back pointer which reflects the lowest gn value. Step 6, return to step 2. In this example, we will traverse the given graph using the A algorithm. The heuristic value of all states is given in the below table so we will calculate the fn of each state using the formula fn equals gn plus hn, where gn is the cost to reach any node from the start state. Here we will use open and closed list. The solution has three paths from the start node. On initialization open list contains S5. Iteration 1 we expand S, so the list contains S, A, is 4, S, G, is 10. Iteration 2 we expand A, so the list contains S, A, C, is 4, S, A, B, is 7, S, G, is 10, like. Iteration 3 we expand C. So the list contains S, A, C, G, is 6, S, A, C, D, is 11, S, A, B, is 7, S, G, is 10. Iteration 4 will give the final result, as S, A, C, G it provides the optimal path with cost 6. Consider another example, S is the root node, and G is the goal node. Here the value of hn in red color and gn0 in black color. Starting from the root node s and moving towards its next successive nodes a and b. In order to reach the goal node g, calculate the fn value of node s, a and b using the evaluation equation i.e. fn equals gn plus hn. Calculation of fn for node s is f apostrophe s equals distance from node s to s plus h is, that is, 0 plus 10 equals 10. Calculation of fn for node a is, f a equals distance from node s to a plus h a, that is, 2 plus 12 equals 14. Calculation of fn for node b is, f b equals distance from node s to b plus h b, that is, 3 plus 14 equals 17. Therefore, node a has the lowest fn value.
Hence, node A will be explored to its next level nodes C and D and again calculate the lowest Fn value. After calculating, the sequence we get is S, A, D, G with Fn equals 13 lowest value. The advantages of A star algorithm are A star search algorithm is the best algorithm than other search algorithms. A star search algorithm is optimal and complete. This algorithm can solve very complex problems. The drawbacks are it does not always produce the shortest path as it mostly based on heuristics and approximation. A star search algorithm has some complexity issues. The main drawback of A is memory requirement as it keeps all generated nodes in the memory, so it is not practical for various large-scale problems. The performance measure of A star search are a star algorithm is complete as long as, branching factor is finite and cost at every action is fixed. A star search algorithm is optimal if it follows two conditions. Admissible, the first condition requires for optimality is that HN should be an admissible heuristic for A star tree search. An admissible heuristic is optimistic in nature. Consistency, the second required condition is consistency for only A star graph search. If the heuristic function is admissible, then A star tree search will always find the least cost path. The time complexity of a search algorithm depends on the heuristic function, and the number of nodes expanded is exponential to the depth of solution D. So the time complexity is big O of B raised D, where B is the branching factor. The space complexity of A star search algorithm is big O of B raised D. The and or graph, or tree, is useful for representing the solution of problems that can be solved by decomposing them into a set of smaller problems, all of which must then be solved. This decomposition, or reduction, generates arcs that we call and arcs. One and arcade may point to any number of successor nodes, all of which must be solved in order for the arc to point to a solution. Just as an N-O graph, several arcs may emerge from a single node indicating a variety of ways in which the original problem might be solved. This is why the structure is called not simply an n graph but rather an and or graph, which also happens to be an and or tree. Consider the example. Here, the destination or goal is to eat some food. We have two ways, either order food from any restaurant or buy some food ingredients and cook to eat food. Thus, we can apply any of the two ways, the choice depends on us. It is not guaranteed whether the order will be delivered on time, food will be tasty or not, etc. But if we will purchase and cook it, we will be more satisfied. A O star search is a specialized graph based on n slash or operation. It is a problem decomposition strategy where a problem is decomposed into smaller pieces and solved separately to get a solution required to reach the desired goal. Although a star search and a O star search both follow the best first search order, but they are dissimilar from one another. The AO star search provides two ways to choose either OR or AND. It is better to choose AND rather or to get a good optimal solution. A O star search procedure. 1. Place the start node on open. 2. Using the search tree, compute the most promising solution tree TP. 3. Select node AND that is both on open and a part of TP, remove N from open and place it no closed. 4. If N is a goal node, label N as solved. If the start node is solved, exit with success where TP is the solution tree, remove all nodes from open with a solved ancestor. 5. If N is not solvable node, label N as unsolvable. If the start node is labeled as unsolvable, exit with failure. Remove all nodes from open, with unsolvable ancestors. 6. Otherwise, expand node and generating all of its successor compute the cost of for each newly generated node and place all such nodes on open. 7. Go back to step 2. In figure, A, the top node A has been expanded producing two areas one leading to B and leading to C D. The numbers at each node represent the value of F at that node, cost of getting to the goal state from the current state. For simplicity, it is assumed that every operation i.e. applying a rule, has a unit cost, that is, each is with a single successor will have a cost of one and each of its components. With the available information till now, it appears that C is the most promising node to expand since its F equals 3, 
The lowest but going through B would be better since to use C we must also use D and the cost would be 9 3 plus 4 plus 1 plus 1. Through B it would be 6 5 plus 1. Figure, B, node G appears to be the most promising node. But G is not on the current beat path, since to use G we must use GH with a cost of 9, and again this demands that ARX be used, with a cost of 27. The path from A through B, EF is better with a total cost of, 17 plus 1 equals 18. The working of AO star algorithm is illustrated in the figure. In step 1, A is the only node, it is at the end of the current best path. It is expanded, yielding nodes B, C, D. The arc to D is labeled as the most promising one emerging from A. Since its cost is 6 compared to B and C, which costs 9. In step 2, node B is chosen for expansion. This process produces one new arc, the end arc to E and F, with a combined cost estimate of 10. So we update the F value of D to 10. Going back one more level, we see that this makes the end arc BC better than the arc to D, so it is labeled as the current best path. We traverse the arc from A and discover the unexpanded nodes B and C. If we going to find a solution along this path, we will have to expand both B and C eventually. So let's choose to explore B first. This generates two new arcs, the ones to G and to H. Propagating their F values backward, we update F of B to 6 since that is the best we think we can do, which we can achieve by going through G. This requires updating the cost of the end arc BC to 12 6 plus 4 plus 2. After doing that, the arc to D is again the better path from A. So we record that as the current best path and either no D or no def will be chosen for expansion at step 4. Thank you, and have a nice day.